Hello ladies, welcome to Far Above Rubies. We've gained a lot of members over the past few days, so make sure that you jump in, participate, be active. This is not a place to be a bystander. Let's dive into the Word of God. Let's share. Let's encourage one another. If no one's told you yet today, your price is Far Above Rubies. You are valuable and you are cherished daughter of the King. We're going to dive right in today to Proverbs chapter 11, but we're going to start we're going to start in a fun place. Our society that we live in profits tremendously from promoting uh, beauty products and beauty regimens and everybody just went, uh-oh, where are we going? They have a way of tearing our self-image down so that they can sell us just the right product to build it back up. So let's ask a few honest questions, okay? How many beauty products do you own? I don't really want to answer that question. How about lotion, bath products, skincare? anti-aging yes yeah, important one how about curling irons straightening irons curlers rollers fingernail clippers and files and buffers oh my we could go on and on about the list of beauty products that we have right I know I could um, let's ask this honest question how long do you take every day to get ready how long do you take to do your hair in the morning what about for work what about for a nice dinner out with your husband? What about for church? I know I spend much longer getting ready for church than I do for anything else. Why is that? I don't know. We, we worry about what other people think, right? We are women. We are by our very nature vain, most of us, if we're being really honest. If you don't think you are, I bet you could examine your heart and find a little area where you're a little bit vain. It's just in our nature. We desire acceptance. We desire validation and even adoration. But do we seek it in the wrong ways, in the wrong places, from the wrong people? Proverbs chapter 11, verse 22 says that a beautiful woman is like a gold ring, but if she lacks discretion or wisdom, she is like a gold ring in a pig's snout. A pig's snout, beautiful, desirable, valuable, but clothed, surrounded, cloaked in muck and the most undesirable things that she could be clothed in. Did you spend more time today or yesterday getting ready and becoming beautiful on the outside than you did seeking wisdom of God? It's not wrong to be beautiful. It's not wrong to desire to be beautiful. But there are two yardsticks that we need to measure our beauty regimens and our desire to be beautiful against. One, have I crossed into an area of being prideful? Have I gone from wanting to represent my husband, uh, my God, a beautiful godly Christian woman well and with poise and with grace into, look at me, look at me, look, oh, oh hey, you over there, look at me, look at me, look at, look, look at me, look at me. Look at me. Have we crossed into that area? Number two, do I or have I been spending more time getting ready and trying to draw attention to myself and my looks, trying to prepare my outward appearance for others than I have been spending seeking God and asking Him to make me beautiful and give me wisdom on the inside? I don't want to be a beautiful woman without discretion. The Bible says discretion. It also means wisdom. We've talked a lot about wisdom lately. And we're going to keep on talking about it. Have I spent more time seeking to be beautiful here than to be beautiful on the inside? I don't want to be that woman who's beautiful, gains attention, but lacks discretion and wisdom and is compared to a, a gold ring in a pig's snout. Your challenges today are pretty simple. Read Proverbs chapter 11. There's loads of incredible wisdom in here. Share something below that spoke to you. Um, challenge number two, pray that God would give you that wisdom inside. To ask him to give you wisdom in all areas of your life, to help you examine your life and seek where you need wisdom at. Um, I also wanted to share as we close that... 1 Samuel chapter 16 verse 7 makes it very plain to us that man looks on the outward appearance, but God looks on the heart. So while you are beautiful inside and out, and we want to be beautiful for those around us, 
don't forget that God is looking at your heart today. God bless. I hope you have a great Monday. I'll see you tomorrow.